What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, we got a really cool video in store for today. I am up at my buddy's uh, camp. It's about a three hour ride north from my house up in Maine. So we're in way up Northwest Maine. And I'm here with a lot of my buddies from school down at UNH. And we're just looking to have a blast. Gonna be a lot of John Boat Sends. See right here, all of our rods. We're gonna be all, we gotta rig these up tonight. Uh, might go out on the water a little bit earlier, um, but basically, yeah. We're gonna be spending the day in this guy. We got a bunch of yaks. We're gonna jump in and maybe a canoe or so. But uh, for those of you who are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Help, really help us get to 100 subs. It's our next goal. And if you guys have been enjoying the content, go ahead and hit that like button. Uh, it really helps us with getting higher up in the algorithm and just getting more views on our videos. So I really appreciate it. If you guys go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and stick with it, stay tuned. And let's slam them up here. Well, boys, we're out on the John boat, and Eric already hooked up on a bass. Is that a two pounder? Uh, what? Uh, Think so? I got three scales if you want one. What is it? About three nine. Hold on, it's still going. Nice little, little three nine. Little yep. What'd you catch him on? Uh, lipless. There he goes. Oh, not yet. There he goes. I got these things. It says fast level. Well, that must mean it works. <laughs> Either fish or grass. I think it's grass. I was gonna say that was an easy fight. Nope, it's a fish, it's a pickle. That's a tiny, tiny ass pickle. The thing was like mini mini. I thought it was weeds all the way and then I felt like two tugs, like two head shakes and I was like, ah, okay. Mm. Something just came to the surface right there in the middle. Either that or there's a log there and it's splitting the splitting the current. Alright, let's kind of put it on like one or two and just venture down the middle here. That's gonna be a fish. Yeah, right on the point. You know what? Let's take a let's take a stroll up in there. Oh, that was one hundred percent a bite. That was one hundred percent a bite. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, I wasn't even recording. Guy, buddy took it right at the boat. Right in the upper lip. Right on the little Strike King Thunder Cricket. Uh, and then I got a Yoda Worm as a trailer. Not bad, probably right around a pound. First bass here, I've had two pickerels, so we'll take that. It's uh, about dark, first bass here, we'll take it. Oh, nice splash too. All right, well, at least we know they might want this for tomorrow. Welcome back, guys, for the morning of day two. It's about 5.30 outside. I think only Tanner and I are going to go out this morning. The rest of the guys are pretty still beat up from last night. So today, obviously, it's super cloudy outside, and the water quality is actually a lot better than I was expecting. I would say it's slightly stained. I was expecting it to be pretty muddied up the river, is really really high right now than where we've seen it in the past there should still be some good fishing yesterday i ended up getting two small pickerel and a small bass to end of the day on three separate baits uh the first one came on a little bio spawn exo swim the underspin and then the second one came on a just a black and blue swim jig with the exo swim and then a half ounce or the actually the bass came on a half ounce uh, white and chartreuse thunder cricket. So we're gonna stick with moving baits today. 
Um, I also have a, a fluke tied on as well as a Texas rig uh, just because it is super weedy here. But I got all the tacos behind me and I'm going to go ahead, throw on my bib. We're making some coffee right now. And then Tanner and I are going to go jump right back out on the jump. All right, we are out on the water for day two. I'm going to start off on the straight king thunder cricket. So hard on a blade jig because you can't tell if it's a bite or grass because basically you're just looking for when the vibration stops. <laughs> could set it on every grass patch. It's so annoying. Just had a nibble. Huh? Yep. It's a bass. It's a bass. It's a decent bass. Yo, let's, let's go. go! Dude, that thing's a fucking hog. Go. Choked it. That might be a three. I couldn't tell. It was like the smallest bite. And I thought, waited, waited, and then just fucking yanked it. Look at that, boys. Right down the gullet. That's what you want to see. That's a good fish. It does. You got a fish on it. Yeah, three one. That's good. Look at the fish. Oh, three three. Three three on it. Put it, back. Yeah. Put it in the water. That fish made the boat turn around. All right. Hopefully she kicks. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right. Well, we gotta slow it down, I guess. Today's not a moving debate day. It also means they're shallow, cause that's like yep. six inches, dude. Good job on the net job too. Right there on the green pumpkin blue flake. All right. Well, we put a good three hours or so out on the water this morning. Wicked slow bite. We had nothing for. It was close to like two, two hours or so. Switched it up, went shallow, started throwing a little bottom bait. Got a decent sized pickerel on the Cinco. It was like two casts later, we got that 3-3 bass. Overall, not too bad. We're gonna go in, grab some food. We got a little bit of work we gotta get done today, but we'll probably be back out later tonight uh, looking for that night bite like we always do, so. And it's like, oh, I'm hungry. Second half of day two, run solo. Uh, bottom baits seemed like they were working in the morning towards the end, so when I got that bass, so I think I'm gonna rig up probably a bandito bug. I think I'm gonna try Bama bug color first. Rig that up on a Texas rig and go from there. First cast! First cast on the bam bug. There's a pickle though. Yeah. That's what you don't want. <laughs> that was my first cast. You want to jump on with me and head that way? I can't see the log, but I can feel it. Back up the line. Yeah. I feel like I should be able to do it with my glasses, but.
Yo. It's decent, whatever it is, dude. It's a bass, it's a bass. That works. Oh, he clobbered it, dude. Oh, she nice. I say 2.3. Two seven. Two seven locked. All right, little dude. Little. Didn't convert anything else. Uh... Woo! Yeah, I'm, you gotta you gotta throw a bottom bait. They're hitting it today, bro. We're gonna fish that point. I'm gonna put money to the fish on this point. I say if you go wrong with a chug of beer, the cold one, highly carbonated. Yeah. What if I'm right? Out on day three, got a little bit of a late start this morning, so I'd eat breakfast first. Um, it's actually starting to drizzle a little bit, and the wind is pretty strong, so might make for some good fishing if we can braid the weather. You know, see how it goes. I'm gonna stick with bottom base today because that's what I've had some luck on. Uh, might switch up to move baits later, but so far, still throwing that a uh, Guggen Bandito bug in the Alabama crop color. I think I got one. Jesus Christ. It's a bass. It's a monster bass. Holy Let's go. You have a scale? Oh yeah. Just barely hooked upper lip as it should be. Fucking tank. Nice water. Popped right out. That was third, what was that? Third, third cast? cast? We'll take that. Zero, 215, nice. almost a three pounder. That is a quality first fish. We will take that. There she goes. Let's go, dude. Whoa. Good morning already. That one. Woo! Uh, bass or pickle? Bass. Oh. We got ourselves a bass. It's a little dude right in the side of the face. Right on that tree where they haven't been all fucking weekend. There we go. Finally a fish on a tree. Haven't been like that all weekend. Not a big guy, but we'll still take it. See you buddy. Bass. That's a good dad. Let's go. 
Where was it? Straight dead middle. Whoo! We'll take that. Thank you for the bite, buddy. Oh. Oh, spunky little guy. Dude, the water feels warm. Like, it's gotta be like 52, 53. Dude, I almost just lost him because his trolling motor was on. He went right for the trolling motor, and I was like, no f***ing way. God, I'm so mad. I was like burn. I was like about done with my cast, and I was just burning it in. Just clobbered it. I got him. 4-7. <laughs> the four seven. He he zeroed it out um, before he put on his clips. So I bet those clips are two ounces. That. Jesus Christ! The biggest four seven I've ever seen. Yeah, my God. five eight. Looks Damn, smaller. that is a massive fish. Look at the belly on that yeah. thing. I can't believe that's not over five. That's, that's up. Dude, look at hold, hold it, hold it sideways. Hold and it sideways. Oh, you wanna walk, walk wow! Back. Let me see the mouth. It's Big that's a boy. softball, dude. Big boy. Let's Woo! You wanna know All right, let's get a release on him. What? That kind of maybe dropped the weight a little bit. It's got no shoulders or anything. Yeah. It's thin besides its gut. He's good, ready to go. There she goes, Woo! dude. Way to f end the fucking weekend. guys i think this is where we're gonna cut this weekend's trip and this video obviously unreal way to end the day with eric grabbing that i think it was a four seven honestly when i saw him pull it out of the water i thought it was over a six um definitely in the top five biggest bass that i've seen in the last couple of years especially in this body of water like i said earlier it was really flooded the water was clearer than i was expecting it was a combination of moving baits and uh just texas rigs and just hopping them on bottom um, overall, really good day. I was lucky enough to get at least one bass every single time I went out, which is awesome. There's just a ton of pickerel in here and it's just a ton of grass and a ton of weeds. We appreciate you guys for watching and go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, really appreciate it. And if you like this type of trip, go ahead and hit that like button as well. I think that's gonna do it for this Northern Send. So I appreciate the view and we will see you on the next episode. <laughs>